Last year, as the hype around Arcane was getting bigger and bigger the closer we got to its release, there was one thing I really enjoyed doing. And that was breaking apart the trailers and trying to figure out what was happening there. Unfortunately, those videos were not that popular because a lot of people were trying to avoid spoilers. But if you go back to those videos, you may notice that I was wrong. A lot. And that's because Riot was aware of a problem that a lot of shows have. In one way or another, they tend to spoil their stories in the trailers. But the trailers for Arcane were so genius. Not only did they never reveal what the actual story was, but they purposefully edited the trailers to make you believe the story is something totally different. So that when you finally watch the show, you are constantly surprised. And that's what I want to show you today. I want to go back to the trailers for Arcane. And I want to show you how perfect Riot's misdirections were and why I was so wrong with most of my predictions. So, let's start with the original reveal trailer during the anniversary. Fun fact, even before they play the trailer, they tease pieces of the show on their monitors. Here you can see the 3D model of Grayson, and you can even see her portrait on the top right. Also, yes, that's a hidden Heimerdinger on the bottom right. I'm not sure what the cat is about though. Anyway. The first shots of the first trailer were just revealing Piltover. Interestingly enough, after the intro, this is also the first shot of the series. Then for the first time we got a reveal of the two mysterious characters, which people quickly realized were Jinx and Vi based on their hair. But the trailers kept focusing on these other two characters right besides them. Surely they would be important and they wouldn't be lost very early in the show. Yeah, can you believe we thought Milo and Clagger would be Victor and Jace? That was one of the first clever misdirections. Then there was this shot of a character that still has not appeared in the show, but as far as we know they might actually appear in season 2. Some shots of Grayson and Marcus, which we totally thought would be random characters. Then we got the mysterious bartender with the other character. And here we started speculating who that other character might be. Surely they wouldn't be a random character that just disappears later on. See, this is what Riot was doing with their trailers. They were always focusing on characters that didn't really matter for the story. And they kept all the main characters in the background. You'll see what I mean by this later on, because Riot did this a lot. And then there was this legendary shot. Of course, now we know every single one of these characters. But I never would have thought that would be singed. Riot was so clever, they never showed Singed when he was burned. Because that would reveal it is Singed. That's why they kept him in the background and they never even hinted at it. That's why Singed was such a great reveal in the actual show. Also, I totally thought this guy was adult Milo. Because by now we knew there would be two phases of the story. When they were young and when they were adults. What we didn't know is that Milo would never be adult. Also, yes, I totally thought that guy would be adult, thinner Clagger. Which back then we believed was Jace. Oh, how wrong we were. And then came my only correct prediction. I told people that it was strange to see how Jinx's eyes were grey the entire show. Then they reflected blue when the Hexta crystals were near, but her eyes were never purple, as it is supposed to be in the game. So the only thing I predicted correctly is that the color of her eyes reflects the level of her craziness. Then we got some shots of the other members of some of the other families and these were just wild guesses, nothing really important here. Then we got this shot and this is the one that really made us think the other two characters would be actually important. You know, Victor and Jace, but um, no. And then the trailer had this dramatic shot of the coin being stabbed by the dagger. You know, a totally worthless scene for the main plot. Which is once again Riot drawing attention to details that didn't really matter. Just so they can actually hide the main story. Then there was the debate of the main villain, which we didn't even know was called Silco back then. With whom we thought would be Jace. Once again, that was very much wrong. Then there was another shot of Jinx's eyes, which I got right. Another shot of the guy who has not appeared in the series yet. Them running away from stuff without context. Exploding Hextech gems. I'm surprised Riot didn't edit this to be something else. But it makes sense, Riot wanted to show that the Hextech gems are volatile. 
more shots which will likely appear in season 2, we got a short of Marcus finding out about the purple stuff, you know the point of this shot was to show us that the purple stuff is actually corrupting things, we totally thought it would be related to the void, which let's be honest Shimmer still can be, then we got this beautiful shot, which of course now we know this is the very first shot of the entire series. But back then I believed that this was some kind of a tragedy that made Jinx go insane. I thought that this was the seed of her mental breakdown. But no, technically that was unrelated. And this was definitely not the disaster that would be her fault as Fiddlesticks called out. Then we got the bit of a more adult versions of her. This is the shot that revealed that there would be two stages of the story. One where they were young and one where they were older. And then there was this absolutely genius teaser which revealed nothing. Now based on the appearance I did figure out that this guy was actually the guy interrogated before. So we knew Silco would corrupt him in the end. But the way this corruption is teased is so clever. You see in this shot you can specifically see his left eye getting corrupted because the main villain also had his left eye weird. So most people believed that this was the main villain. You know, it would make sense, they are evil and bad. So here you can see how they are dosing on whatever the purple stuff was, their eye starts glowing, and then you get this close-up of the eye getting corrupted. The absolute brilliance of the misdirection in this part is that not only was this not Silco, as people believed the first time they saw this, but also this is not even his eye. This close up of the eye is taken from a totally different shot of the series. You know which one? Yes, this is the eye of the rat. You remember the scene where Singe dosed the rat so that the rat can consume the cat? Yeah, this is the transformation scene. This is the rat, not the guy. This was actually the best foolery Riot pulled off. And this proves how amazing Riot is at hiding the main story in these trailers. Now this is where the first trailer stopped. But I quickly also want to show you the other follow up big trailer. This is the one that only had 18 seconds and it made people go crazy. For the first time here we got a hint of what the adult Jinx would look like. It's cool to see that this is not a scene that was made for the trailer. This is actually a shot from the bridge where she fights Echo. Then there was this seemingly random scene of Jinx shooting, which of course this is actually from her fight with Echo. Then there was a shot of Vi using her gauntlets on the cam tank. This was out of context so there was nothing to break apart here. Although some people once again believed that the guy in the cam tank would be Silco. And then there was this. Yes, I like many other people believed that this would be a brand new champion connected to Arcane. This was wrong on so many levels. But you can't blame me, I was overhyped. With that said, some people did actually notice the hourglass here and they were suspicious as to whether this can be Echo. You guys were geniuses. And then, once again, an amazing misdirection. We all thought this would be Victor. The guy has the staff, he has electricity, there is a gem that looks like the Hextech gems before and their glowing eyes look like the goggles from the prototype skin. All of those were wrong. Well, not the gem, the gem is technically a gem. We still don't know if it is Rise. canonically it wouldn't really make that much sense, but knowing that Arcane has its own separate universe, I wouldn't be surprised if this was Rise in the end. But yeah, this was not Victor. And in fact, it wasn't really a significant character at all. He was there for literally 30 seconds. Yeah, amazing misdirections. Then there were some random scenes of Jinx and Vi, we can skip those. And then there was this once again. A shot of the main villain that looked similar to the last one. Which once again fooled a lot of people into believing that here, Silco would be that guy. What a great bamboozle. And yes, now we know that not only is this not the transformation scene, but this is from the dramatic scene where Vi and Caitlyn escape and Silco kicks his own goons. The purple flashing in the background is the broken eye of Zorn. Then there was this shot which I spent a lot of time talking about, because here you can see that she has blue eyes without any Hextech gems around her. Once again, this is the only part of the entire Arcane series that I predicted correctly. 
which was followed by my worst prediction of them all. We all believed this would be a new champion. We all believed this would be a new character. And you know why we all believe that? It's because throughout all of the trailers, Riot always only showed Vi with her red jacket. We have never seen her wearing her hood. We didn't even know there was a version of Vi without her jacket. So this had to be a new champion. Which was so wrong, this is just Vi. But the trailer is edited in such a way that it makes you believe that this is something new that you haven't seen before. Because technically this is something you have not seen before. For the first time you see Vi without her sleeves. I can't believe how much time I spent trying to analyze those tattoos. You know the little Ionian clouds on the left? Which totally made it possible that this could be Faye? Yeah, this was my worst prediction ever. And that's where the trailers ended. In hindsight, I am glad I got a lot of the predictions wrong. Because of that, I was surprised the entire time. The entire series had something new around every corner. And I can't believe how good Riot is at showing us so much from the series without revealing absolutely anything. It is very rare for shows to do this. These days, shows are not afraid of showing you spoilers, because those spoilers can hook you into watching the show. Riot knew they didn't need to do that. They knew that people would be watching this because it's the League of Legends IP. So they stayed low, they played it safe, but in a really clever way. It's incredible how they managed to get from the reveal to the very end without ever showing you Echo, which is one of the fan favorites. They could have easily baited people into watching Arcane because they liked Echo. But Riot didn't do this. That's how confident they were. And that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. When it comes to making trailers for Arcane, Riot are absolute geniuses. But besides that, there is a reason why I wanted to make this video. When Arcane 2 trailers come out, please watch my videos. They are safe, they don't spoil anything, please watch them.